A staggering result from a study in the UK. Climate change there has already pushed the flowering dates of plants about a month earlier. I'm Dan Riskin. People in the UK have been taking notes on wildlife for centuries, and one of the things people tend to write down is first flowering date. And it's as simple as it sounds. The apple tree has its first flowers of spring, you write down what day it is. Plants know it's spring from how warm it is, so it's not surprising that as seasons have gotten warmer, plants have been flowering earlier. But the magnitude of that shift is a shock. Researchers collected first flowering dates for just over 400 different kinds of plants that grow in the UK, stretching from 2019 all the way back to observations in the year 1753. So they had a lot of data points, more than 400,000 of them across the country, spanning 266 years. And what researchers found was that if you compare all the years up to 1986 to all the years starting in 1987, the average plant's flowering date has shifted almost a month, 26 days. And that's the average across those 400 plant species. Some of them have shifted even more. Now this matters for plants because they might be developing too early in the spring, when they might not get enough hours of sunlight in a day, or where they're more likely to get hit with a frost at night, conditions to which they're not adapted. But it's not just about the plants themselves. This impacts animals that rely on plants. Take birds, for example. They time their migrations based on how long the days are, something that doesn't change with climate change. So you could have a bird that leaves Africa on its migration at the same date it has for centuries, only to arrive in the UK and find out that the flowers there have already come and gone. This study shows that climate change is well underway, and it's more important than ever for us to hit the brakes on those carbon emissions. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.